Hello Pisces and welcome to your weekly read. So we are very much in the last week of December 2020. Have you taken some time to reflect on the year and what it's meant to you? I know I have. A lot has happened. Not all bad though. Um, a lot of it has been about awakening so it's been interesting. Um, I've always been very spiritual but even more so starting I think about April or May, March, April, May of this year. Yeah, it started happening just around the time the world went to hell. So, yeah. Alright, so I hope you're doing well. I hope you are. Um, I am waiting on something. I'm waiting for news, so I'm a little bit uh, feeling a little bit afraid. I'm not the most patient person in the world. Uh, I've probably mentioned that. So I um, I pulled out this card from the native spirit. This is the spirit of air. And it talks about intellectual in the book. But I feel more like wanting to be up here right now in this beautiful expanse. And just kind of, you know, um, just getting lost in the air of the moment so that my mind doesn't work so hard at everything because my mind does um yeah so here i pulled out for you guys for your week protecting treasure it is uh so that's like 12 number three if you um yeah it's very interesting if you look at her she's got an umbrella there seems to be a bird perched on the umbrella looking at her. I'm taking a look see to see what I can see. Ah, uh, it's interesting. Okay, there's like something shining at the bottom where she is like laying on top. She's protecting herself but her crown's getting wet. There's something on the ground. It almost looks like there's gold beside her. I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm going to take a look and see what it actually says in the card. Because it's a, it, there's a lot of imagery here. So, let's see. Although this is a time of great risk, know that the fundamental level you are able to move forward safely and securely. The proverbial nest egg is safe and sound no matter the fluctuations in the world. Wow, okay. Guardian angels and other guides are whispering to you, making you aware of their protective presence. Your loyalty is an important theme now, nurturing that which you hold dear. This is a good time to strengthen bonds of friendship and ensure their integrity. If you feel tested right now, know that a true and loyal heart always achieves its aim. Take refuge under an angel's wings. You are not alone and have no need to fear. Embrace your courage. Okay, so it is very much... Um, It's saying that all that's coming to you, okay, so your treasure is on its way. Um, I'm going to just mention a few things that I've noticed in for from the imagery, and maybe that's going to mean something to you as well, okay. Absolutely, I see like gold hiding is almost like dirt. I see a diamond. I don't know if it's in the rough. It's kind of shining brightly, okay. So she is laying down, hiding from the rain and the treasure. There is definitely a rainbow going on here. Um, it looks like something maybe that you set forth in autumn because we are in winter now, but this is definitely the colors of autumn here. Um, let me see what else I can see here. What else is popping up to me? It's very, it's raining a lot. So it, this feels like... Uh, this feels cold to me. It really does feel awfully cold and dank. And but there's there's beauty in it as well. So I don't know what to say. There's a lot of rain, okay? So maybe you're not seeing the beauty around you for all the rain. Um, anyway, so for some of you, I'm sure this will mean a lot. You will look at it and you will resonate with it. For me, um, the card's meaning did. I love the card. I love all the imagery. It is very, it's, um, I love when people give themselves, uh, <laughs> the imagination to put so much in a card for you to 
C, okay? The three and a nine are important to me. Nine is a divine number. Three is also the number of uh, the three of pentacles for me. So that's like protection from guides. And nine is divinely uh, being, you know, taken care of. So I like that. Just like the three of cups here. Okay. So, um, but absolutely. I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to be doing a Celtic cross like I usually do for you guys. Okay. take a look at your week in review. Okay, the first card is the Nine of Cups. Beautiful. I'm just going to put that over here because I'm going to be taking up a lot of room. Okay, so this is you, the Nine of Cups, okay? You have the Knight of Cups. What's around you? A lot of passion. Okay, Nine of Cups, a lot of... Uh, you feel blessed, okay? So... A lot of you are feeling blessed, even if the world's going to hell. Some of you have tapped into that feeling of bliss, okay? Could be for your cup of coffee. Your cup of coffee, you're just feeling good. The Eight of Wands is uh, is news coming in fast, so uh, yeah, I would feel that. Your foundation is the Ace of Cups. I'm going to do the crown first, please the crown first. Usually I do it another way, but I'm going to do the crown first today. What crowns you Pisces this week? Okay. The King of Swords. Yes, high up in the air. There you go. With the King of Swords. Absolutely. Ah, uh, the cards, they always have a way to connect the dots to everything. All right, recent past, Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Wow, okay. Future, Queen of Cups, beautiful. Okay, how to present yourself. Queen of Wands. Look at all these queens coming out. How others see you. Five of Wands. Nice. Your hopes and fears. Your hopes and fears. The Emperor. Okay. And lastly, the Outcome. King of Pentacles. Beautiful. Okay. So, I have a funny feeling this is about wish fulfillment, okay? And at the bottom, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Look at that growth, okay? So, let's see. What am I going to use to clarify? Am I going to use... I'm going to go get my good old trusty deck right here. Okay, you guys. Ah, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're going to start this beautiful reading. I hope you're doing well. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead. Okay. All right. So, we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is you right now, okay? You worked hard, and things are starting to happen, okay? So, this is your hard work paying off. Look at you going, wow. Yeah, look at this. Uh, you got like jewels down here. Okay, it's funny. I'm getting more of um of a of a money vibe in this. Um, I'm getting more of a riches, like a more material uh, vibe for this. Okay, so you have done the healing. You have done the resting. Okay, in this week, this is what's going to be going on. Uh, some of you have taken my advice from yesterday to take a lot of rest so that you can see clearly, okay? Putting in the hard work, and the hard work is going to start paying off, okay, for you? Some of you have been putting a lot of hard work, investing in yourself, okay? This could be emotional. I, get, I am getting material vibe maybe because I like 
the material vibe more because my emotional vibe is good. But I'm going to send it out there to you guys that it can be for anything that you like, okay? Um, you're definitely going to be feeling a lot better this week, for sure. I like this. I love this card, okay? What surrounds you is the Knight of Cups. So this could mean one of a couple of things, okay? It could mean that you are feeling that you've been working so hard that you're feeling overly emotional, okay? Or it could be that you are feeling very emotionally intense in a very good way, okay? Maybe it's giving you the, the lightness of heart that you need with the Knight of Cups. Because the Knight of Cups is a very intense night, okay? Um, he's seen as well as the love him and leave him. So that means, you know, I'll love you intensely today and you're completely forgotten and, and replaced by tomorrow. So he's my Casanova card. But he also represents emotionally emotional highs and lows. So you have been going through emotional highs and lows or you're surrounded by that because this is a surround card, okay? Um, this is what surrounds you. So you've been working hard at maybe getting control of these emotional highs and lows, okay? Or you will be this week, absolutely. This is going to be your week, okay? You feel very fulfilled, okay, because your your hard work is paying off, and this is both about hard work. You have both the eight and the nine of cups. That's that's like accumulating or a, a culmination of getting um, your wishes fulfilled, okay, and your treasures. Maybe it's those treasures that's coming through for me. But you know, your treasures could be anything to you. What do you treasure most in your life, okay? And for those who think that money's a bad thing, it's not. It's all part of life. It's all part of our a physical world. As much as uh, love and everything else, okay? Um, money is not evil. Uh, people, people, what people do can be considered evil, but money is not, okay? You can do lots of good with money. It brings a lot of safety, comfort, and help to people around the world. What blocks you is the Eight of Wands, okay? And this, I know what it is. Uh, this is like, um, some of us are waiting for decisions, okay? <laughs> and they're not coming in fast enough, okay? The swiftness of it is what is blocking us. We feel like we're waiting, and Spirit is saying that that anxiety is going to end this week. So, very nice. I'm happy to hear that, okay? So this is going to, there's going to be a swift end to that waiting, okay? And that is blocking you, so that's good. That's good. Hate waiting. Not a very patient person, as I said. So I'm very happy to see that. Um, all right. So we're going to do your foundation and your crown. Okay. Uh, usually I go this way, but I'm going to do these, and then I'm going to do your recent past and your future. Okay. So uh, what is your foundation? Is the ability with the Ace of Cups, okay, to put your whole heart in something that is renewable, okay? When you invest in something, you're always investing for the long run. You're investing in something that's going to, like, pay up over and over again, okay? You put a lot of yourself in it, a lot of your inner strength, like the infinity. This is what I feel with the Ace of Cups, okay? Something that's infinitely renewable, okay? So you're always looking for the long. You're not looking for the, the short... Uh, quick fix. You're looking for the one that's going to pay out to you for a long time, whether that's pay out emotionally, uh, being prosperous monetarily. Uh, you're looking out that your heart and your um, your well-being is going to be there for a very long time, okay? Uh, no fly-by-night situations, okay? Just a lot of inner strength, a lot of building, a lot of strong foundations. This is what you look for, okay? So this is your foundation for this week. You have been building on things that you know are going to um, are going to bring back tenfold over and over again, okay? Alright, so what crowns you is the King of Swords, the intellectual king, yes. And it's a fine harmony and organization in everything that you do. And again, see, do you see the theme here? Look, the spirit of air. Look, 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 look. It could almost be the same picture, right? Look, 
Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. It could be. It could be the very same mountain. That's just weird. Okay, and do you see all the wing creatures that he has there? He has wings everywhere. Uh, it's the first time I noticed that. There's a crow at the top. Uh, there's a bat. There's an owl. Um, yeah, he has, he's surrounded by a lot of feathers. Feathers on the pole. Feathers around his arms. Uh, he even has feathers on his shoulders. Okay, so... Um, I almost have a feeling that to bring you back to harmony, what crowns you this week will be your uh, ability to fly away. And I'm saying this in the best way possible. This is like going into your imagination, to your little bag of goodies where you can uh, take a little trip and get your mind in a better state of mind. In other words, so if you need to daydream, and this is daydreaming for me, and there's those wings again, by the way. See that? And there's that, there's that lion. There's that lion, that lion face. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, you guys, this is it, okay? And the mountains are behind them. Look. Okay. So now that we've uh, connected all the dots with the cards, this is really about just uh, reconnecting to your imagination. I do believe that is what I feel here. I feel like... Put yourself above and go somewhere else and take a break, okay? Give yourself a break from your, your thoughts, okay? So that's what's going to crown you this week. Know that what you've built has a strong foundation. It's renewable, okay? You've done all the hard work. Things are going to start showing up for you. But you have to be patient, okay? Because everything takes time. Even uh, when you go into, you send something out to be manifested. It doesn't usually happen, like, right away. Not for a lot of things. There's a few things that do happen right away. Um, you know, such as getting the perfect parking spot. But uh, for the big decisions, for the most part, um, you sent it out in intention, but it, has, it takes time for it to manifest. And, and thank God, because sometimes we review what we've sent out there. Um... So just give it time, okay? It's it's like putting it in order to have something built. It doesn't happen right away, especially if it's a house. So you got to give it a you got to give it a chance, okay? You got to give the builders a chance to build it and uh, create it for you. So it's time for you to have a harmonious flight of daydreaming this week, okay? All right. So in your recent past, um, you worked very hard and very quickly. Okay, your Nine of Pentacles and your Ten of Cups, which is building a future for yourself where you're going to feel fulfilled and that you're going to be blessed, okay? You are blessed. You were blessed to begin with, but you're just tweaking it, okay? Um, a lot of us have been working for years and years on how to get our life back in balance, okay, with our alignment. And... Um, you may not have realized that's what you were doing, okay? So, uh, for years and years, I was, like, paying off bills and, you know, getting more balance in my life so I didn't feel, I felt less pressure, less anxiety, and worked feverishly, like, took a lot of chances when it came to that, but it turned out quite well. So, in the near, in the last little bit, it's been just really tweaking a lot of stuff that's already been put in motion, okay? There you go. Now, in the near future, you have the Queen of Cups. Look at her. She looks so happy. Look at her, okay? She's so zen-like. So, this is you, okay? Reaping the rewards of something... Uh, that was inspired, okay, by you. Look at that. You've been inspired. That fire. That fire, yet that balance. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, you're going to feel that very soon. A very balanced, like, yes, all is right in the world. It may be. It, 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 it doesn't mean, you guys, that, you, you know, like, it's going to be okay, and then you shut the book and nothing else is going to happen. But for this week, you may get moments of all is right in the world right now for me. And that's good. 
I mean, that's what we need in our lives every once in a while. We need that moment of ah, zen, perfect, watery zen, okay? Absolutely. Okay. So we put that here. Um, how to present yourself is the Queen of Wands. And this is to present yourself <laughs> the Queen of Wands with the Queen of Wands. Okay? How to present yourself with the to the world um, as a confident, inspirational, creative being. Okay? Uh, inspire energy and have a joyful demeanor. Okay? Be generous with your time. Make others smile. Have a personal flair. Okay? Follow your passions. This is how you want, this is how to present yourself. Okay? And even if some days you may not feel like that, the more you do it, the more you will make it true, okay? Look at this queen, how happy she looks, okay? This is you. This needs to be you, Pisces. Okay, look at all these beautiful candles. Look at all these beautiful orange candles. My orange candle. Um, this, this card is beautiful. Every time I see it, I feel it. You hold, you hold the fire in your hands. You hold the light. You have a wand in your hands, almost like the magician. It's like you have the power within you. And you're sitting on, I don't know, it looks like a cushion of energy. Look at that. Okay? So just, just be the fire. That Present yourself as the fire that you want to be. Okay? How others see you. They see you have, as having gained high ground and overcoming defeat. Okay? I love this card. It's almost like, look, I'm reaching for the fire, okay? The fire that she's got in her hands, you're reaching for it. Look at that. Okay? Other people, they're going into their merry, conflicted ways. Uh, like, this one's going, oh, where did that go? This one's, like, too far down, but still trying to reach. Not quite there yet. This one just fell. And this one's just at the bottom, not even, like, not even, even close to it, but reaching, okay? You're there. You're reaching. You're right there. See? You got it. You're touching it. You can feel the heat. Your hand's probably burning. Okay, so you've gained high ground. You've definitely gained high ground, and that's how people see you. They see you so close to your ultimate goal, and they like that. Like, I mean, I'm sure they do. I feel like they are envious. I feel the envy here, and that's good. I mean, it's not good to have people, not jealousy, but envy is not bad. Well, I don't know, you know. I don't know. I've envied people and that's motivated me in my life to go for things. So when I look at people and I go, I like that and I'm envious of them, I go, well, how can I get that? So it motivates me to do it, okay? Using those emotions for anything else but that, other than motivation, is a waste of time. So that's all i got to say about that. You have the emperor, okay? What, your hopes and fears. You're hoping for stability, okay, in something. Uh, this Queen of Cups, this is what you're hoping for, okay? That uh, things come through and that you will get news and that's going to get you out of your stuck feeling. This, this stuck feeling that you're feeling, this is what you're hoping that the, the answers are going to come and then you're going to feel very emperish in your life, okay? Like, yes, I am, you know, I have... I have the, I, it's so funny because I know this is a chess piece, but it's almost like somebody else is holding the cup and now you're holding the chess piece. So I feel that it's a passing on of this. This is what you want the outcome to be, okay? This is what it is right now. You feel like you, you don't have your own future in your hands. You feel a little stuck, okay? Uh, but, um... You're hoping that you end up being the a stable emperor, okay? The power, the the achievement that you're looking for, the solving of the problem, okay? Um, the stability that you've been urging to show up in your life, okay? All right, so last but not least, you have the King of Pentacles. All right. So, with the King of Pentacles, you have 
the outcome is. The King of Pentacles with the Five of Cups. Oh, we're going to need a clarifier on that one. Because the Five of Cups to me is like, oh, you're going to look at something that's spilt. That's not so good. And the King of Pentacles is a good king. I mean, he's a king of... Um, he's a practical king. He's a wealthy, successful king. So why would he get... Why is the Five of Cups here? Okay, the end of a stressful situation. We've had it here. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to pull some more because I think I know what's going on. I just want to make sure. This is the way I make sure. All right, Spirit, talk to me. One more. Okay. Okay. So the outcome is the King of Pentacles, which is a successful king, okay? He's, uh, like I said, he's somebody who's successful, wealthy, abundant, practical, okay? He feels very comfortable within himself. This is the way it is. You've got the clarifier as the Five of Cups, the Ten of Swords, the Five of Wands, wow, the Three of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. So this story tells me this, is that... After worrying so much and staring at these three cups in front of you, the situation, that stressful situation, is going to come to an end, okay? All these conflicts that you built in your mind about this launch that you're doing, it's all a give and take here, okay, with the Six of, of Pentacles. Um, you're blessed, okay? You give and take. It goes both ways. It's a give and take situation. Okay, but you keep thinking that somebody is going to take from you. This is what I'm getting, okay? This is you inside of your head thinking the worst of everything. This is it, okay? So you may spend a good part of your week being in this mode right here. Well, this should be this, okay? It should be this right here. In conflict, uh, thinking that everything's going wrong, that... Nothing is working out for you. But with the King of Pentacles, that is the defining card. These are clarifiers. These are just like an explanation of how you're going to get to here. Okay? So, yeah. You're driving yourself bananas when these two cups are still there. Instead of staring at these, you're concentrating on the conflict and not going inside of your... You will. This is your crown. This is your powers, okay? This is your crowning power. You can take off and go um, and use your imagination to distract yourself, to keep vibrating higher. But you're, for some of us, it's not going to work, okay? You're going to just drive yourself nuts, okay, about this launching that you're doing, whatever you're trying to manifest, and it will come at the end to a stressful situation. And in the end, it's all about give and take, okay? It's all about give and take. You have to balance this out. You have to balance your emotions out, okay? If you keep worrying about something happening wrong, it will, okay? It's like um, I've had somebody saying, Jane, does evil exist? If you think about it long enough, you might manifest it. Yeah. Uh, you manifest what you think about. So don't think about it. This is a give and take. You've given a lot, okay? Things are going to come back to you. It's going to balance out. You've done the hard work. You're worrying for nothing, okay? But uh, regardless of what I say here, this is what some of us is going to do. And I'll raise my hand right now. Yeah, I'm probably going to be one of these, okay? So I wish you could tell me the outcome, but it's... Really and truly, it has to do with your own free will, okay? And this, I find, finally, that this makes sense. 
protecting treasure, okay? I'm trying to protect the idea that my dreams are going to come true, that I'm actually sending out to the universe that I don't believe they will, okay? I'm sending out doubt by protecting the treasure instead of actually just enjoying the treasure, okay? Um, I'm, I'm not protecting it, and I'm missing it completely, okay? I'm in the rain. I'm in this Five of Cup mode. I finally get this card. Look at that. She's in the rain. She's got an umbrella, and she has treasures all around her. She has rainbow. She has actual treasure sitting around her. She has beauty surrounding her, but she's too busy protecting herself from the storm, okay? So, yeah, I think you should do more of this this week. Consciously take the time this week when you start worrying about something that you have no control over, okay? You've put the seeds in. You have, okay? You, you have balanced things out. You have to balance things out here because you're going to manifest something um, that you don't want. So don't do that. Take the spirit of air. Take your imagination, vibrate higher, do something else, get yourself distracted, okay? If you're waiting for an answer like I am, just uh, try to get your emotions in a happy place, something that you know will make you feel good, okay? Put your favorite music on, boogie to it, go take a walk, call a friend, have a good laugh, watch something that makes you laugh, uh, spend time with people that you love, okay? Or Good friends, people that make you laugh. Um, uh, I don't know, I used to go to a coffee shop where there was somebody there who uh, I'd pick up my coffee, always uplifted my mood. Go see that person, okay? So just keep yourself in a higher vibration and distract yourself from worrying about fears that you have no control over. Uh, you've set your intention to the universe. You've got to balance yourself out, okay? Because ultimately, even if you... To me, all these cards that I pulled out, I pulled out five cards, okay? And this only just feels like it complicates everything. When the outcome is this, it's success. It's success, okay? Comfort and success and completely ease of mind. You see him? He's not worried about anything. That's what's coming. So why put yourself through all these five cards? Just take that last one. Balance yourself out for the week. Don't worry about the rest. The end of the stressful situation will come. And success will be yours. Okay? So this is how I was able to help you today. I hope I take my own advice. Um, I think I will. I think after this I'm going to go and uh, go watch something funny on TV and, make, uh, and uh, make sure that I have a good laugh, um, possibly a good belly laugh. Okay. And again, I'm going to revert back to this. What you've planted, it's growing. Okay. It's, it's, um, it's growing in spite of your worry, in spite of your doubt. It is growing, okay? So, thank you so much, Pisces, for being here. Thank you for listening. This has been your reading for the week, the last week of December. Um, try to be kind to yourself. Try to be good to yourself. Leave me a comment. Say hi. I will say hi back. And, um... If you need some loving, send it right down. Just write love in the comments and we'll give you all the emoji love that we can. And uh, find some, some stuff that we can throw at you to make you feel better. Okay? You matter in the world. You matter in this world. You matter in my world. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care, Pisces.